adding fractions with unlike denominator. So this is Mr. Bergman, and I'm going to teach you how to add fractions with unlike denominators. How cool is that? The key to this whole thing is these sets of rules that I want to share with you. So if you are trying to add unlike denominators, there are three key things you need to do. Number one, convert each fraction so they all have the same denominator. Number two, simplify and simply just add them up. And then lastly, reduce the fraction if necessary. So let's do some practice. So let's try this. So if I want to do, I want to add three fourths and I want to add four fifths. The problem between this is that the 4 and the 5 are different. Joey, how would you solve that problem? Mr. Bergman, I just add the 3 and the 4 on the top and the 4 and the 5 on the bottom. No, Joey, that's not the right way to do that. You have to do it a little differently. You see, rule number 1, if you recall, is we need to get the 4 and the 5 to have the same denominator. And to do that, we have to find what's called the lowest common multiple, LCM. So, what's the lowest common multiple between 5 and 4? Now, since the 4 and the 5 are different numbers, I think, uh, like, multiply 5 and 4, isn't the lowest common multiple 20? That's right, Joey. It's 20, because 5 goes in 5 and 4's lowest multiple is 20. So, let's work with the 20. So, I need to now convert 3 fourths and 4 fifths into 20ths. So, how would I do that? Well, let's uh, take 3 fourths. And what you do is you multiply by essentially 1, so it's 5 fifths. So 4 times, 3 times 5 is 15, and 4 times 5 is 20. And if I want to do 4 fifths, I'll do that down here, 4 fifths. And you're going to times that by 4 fourths. 4 fourths is 1, so you're not changing the number, and that will be 16 over 20. So now when I add these up together, it's like crazy easy. All I'm going to do is take 15 twentieths plus 16 twentieths. Since you now have the same in, um, uh, denominator, I simply add 15 and 16. And 15 and 16, of course, is 31. So it's 31 twentieths. almost looks like 81. I'll say that's a 31. 31 twentieths. Now, Joey, is that the right answer? Mr. you have not reduced the fraction yet. You're right. We need to simplify that fraction. So if you've got 31 twentieths, you're going to say 20 goes into 31 just one time, and there's a remainder of 11, so it's 1 and 11 twentieths. So that, my friends, is how you add fractions with different numerators. Got that, Joey? I completely understand. You got it, Mr. Bergman. Great.